Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on Arenic Exclusor and today I'm going to show you guys how I did this text gift effect you see in front of you. This was requested by Hodok. Um, they requested it on my Sony Vegas Pro tutorial on how to create a fade off text effects in Sony Vegas. I'm doing the same type of effect but in Photoshop. So if you guys want to learn how to do this effect, please stay tuned and let's get started. So of course with all my tutorials you're going to get a download pack. Um, which will be in the description box below and in this pack you are going to get the original image I used the final product which is a GIF image which is only five layers and the PSD that I used to create this um, text effects so the font that I used it's called Bebas and it's at 72 pixels so first of all, you want to resize our image to our gift size. You can use the full image to your ability, or you can just do this text on any um, thing you want. But I'm going to resize it to 350 pixels by 150. So I'm going to go ahead and just click and then stretch out my box or stretch it in to the size that I want. And I'm going to click the checkbox above. Now that we have that done, you want to go ahead and make a new layer. And we're going to name this box just for tutorial purposes. Now we're going to click our rectangle marquee tool. I'm on the keyboard for shortcut. You want to just click and drag within the box, however big you want your um, shape to be. Once you have that selected, you want to go to edit, stroke, and you want to stroke it 10 pixels with the color of your choosing. I'm choosing white. And location inside. I do inside so that the lines are crisp on the edges and we have, we have no... Um, curved sides. If you do center, it's going to be curved outside. I'm not sure. So once you have that in, you want to go ahead and on your keyboard and hold down Control and A to select all your canvas. You're going to click your move tool here and you want to have it centered and centered just so that it's centered within your document. Now we want to get our text tool and as you see, as you can see, I'm using Bevas again and the font size is 72. We're going to click in here and I'm typing pink skies. I can't spell those guys at the moment. Forgive me. There's an E in there. Like so. And as you see, it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo my box just to make sure it fits around this one here. So I'm just going to drag my marquee. Click and drag around. Make it a little bit bigger because we're going to stroke it by 10. I'm going to go to edit, stroke, 10. Click OK. And now we have something like this. Now that now you have this done, you want the pink sky word to be centered inside the box. We're going to grab our magic wand tool, click your box layer, and click on the inside. Then click your pink skies text layer, click your move tool, and then go center, center, so that it is now centered. Now you want to do is merge the box and the pink skies layers to make them one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the background layer. And on my keyboard, I'm going to hold Shift, Control, Alt, and E to merge layers visible. So when I hide the pink skies and the box layer, we're going to still have the same effect. Now that we have that done, it's time to make our GIF. So first of all, we want to add a layer mask to our pink sky layer. So we're going to click Layer Mask. Then we're going to go to Window and open up our timeline. So this is how we're going to make our GIF. Now you want to go ahead and make how many ever frames you want. I'm only going to do five frames. So I'm going to click here. One, two, three, four, and it's going to make five. Now I'm going to hide the text layers on all of them. So you're going to click one. You can do one by one or click one and hold shift to click the last one and then hide the text layer off. Now that they're empty, on frame lane, on now you want to duplicate your text layer here with the layer mask, which is where we're going to go final. We're going to name it final for this tutorial. I can't spell, so finish text. Simpler. Longer, but simple for me. I'm going to duplicate that four more times. So Control J on my keyboard. One, two, three, and four. So now we have five text layers. I'm going to color code these and right click. You don't have to, but I'm just going to change them to a color so that I know that they're all so I don't get confused. 
on the first hex you want to make the first one appear on the second one you want to make the second one appear and if it appears on the first one you have to go back to the first frame and then make sure it doesn't appear there on the third one you want to make the third one appear which is the yellow fourth is the green one fifth is the blue one so now we have this here if you play it it's gonna be the same what I want to do is I want to um, now make them fade so the first one we're going to click our layer mask make sure your layer mask gets selected and to know that if it's selected you can see brackets around it we're going to get a gradient tool make sure it's black to transparent here so you can just click usually it's the second preset that's black to transparent click OK because it's going to change with your foreground color make sure your foreground top color is black as well we're going to use the linear gradient mode at normal opacity at 100 and have dither and transparency selected okay so once you have that done we're going to go ahead and do something a little bit different than before we get into the um, fading you want to go into your crop your crop tool and you want to click slice tool and this here we're going to slice our um, image into five we're going to right click divide slices and we're going to divide vertically into five so that we have a guide to follow so one two three four and five so when we do our gradient we won't um, have it like a bit jaggedy I prefer it to be a bit more um, in sync and not so jaggedy so the we're on our first timeline make sure our first frame is selected you want to grab your gradient tool again and we're going to start here holding shift and click and drag it to the center of this one here and you see it slightly fades going into your second frame make sure you and then click your second layer and layer mask we're going to start from here and go into the we're going to start at the second slice and going into the middle of the third slice and then let go and as you see it deleted the first part of the slice and the second part of the slice is now slightly faded Going into the third frame, onto the third layer, make sure your layer mask is selected again. We're going to click this here, hold and shift, drag it into the middle of the fourth slice, and as you can see, the first two slices are disappeared, and the third one is slightly faded. Repeat the process with four, and then five. And we have something like this. Now, we're going to want to go ahead and play our GIF and see how it goes. Now, if you're 60 fast, it's because your set time delay was at no delay, and it's going to play a bit fast. It's up to you on how long you how um, long you want it to play for. Uh, some people, it depends on how large your GIF is. Mine is at 5 frames, so I'm just going to go with my normal set time delay, which is at 0 0.15. So I'm going to click one, holding shift, click the last frame, and then click other, or click the little down arrow here click other and then put 0 0.15 and click OK and then you're going to play it and it's going to play more smoothly now it's time to save but first we want to delete our slices because if you were to save with your slices I'll show you guys how it goes how it would be if you save with your slices you're going to file save for web if you save with your slices um, it's actually going to save each one individually like so and we want it as a full gif unless you're wanting to have a chopped up GIF. Um, so I'm going to click cancel. You want to go to your slice tool, right click on your image and delete slices so that there, there is nothing. And then you want to go to file, save for web, and then you can preview it. And this is how it looks. It's slightly a bit faster, but it really depends on you. I'm going to go ahead and slow down the time delay to maybe 0 0.20 and then save for web again and that plays a little bit better now we're going to save it click save as I already have it here because I saved it once before before I recorded this um, just to see how if I got it correct and click replace and then you want to go ahead and drag it into Photoshop this is my first one as you see it's a bit too fast so I'm going into my desktop and dra redragging this one here and this is how it looks and you're done. If you guys have any comments or questions on how to achieve this, if you guys are confused in any way, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment box below and I'll do my best to reply to you. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you want. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial once again. And bye guys.